Hello, this is the Knowledge Catalog and in this video we are going to take a look at global warming chemically. Uh, the Earth is a bit like a human body. Uh, its temperature is very finely balanced and when it gets slightly out of whack, big things can happen. In the case of our home planet, gases in the atmosphere play a vital role in maintaining this delicate equilibrium by balancing the absorption and emission of all electromagnetic radiation, you know, uh, microwaves, infrared waves, uh, ultraviolet light, and visible light, uh, which are reaching the surface of the Earth. Now, um, scientists believe that uh, the main driver behind the warming of uh, the globe is the rising levels of man-made greenhouse gases. Now, these gases, which we pump out into the air, act to trap heat radiation near the surface of the Earth. Uh, that would otherwise be sent back out into, the sp into space. So, yung classic na discussion natin when it comes to greenhouse gases, they are serving as the bl uh, blockage, blockage or the uh, harang. Okay, yung mga harang sa atmosphere natin that are preventing the escape of uh, heat back uh, towards the ano towards the outer space from you know in the direction where they actually came from. Um, because of increasing greenhouse gases, uh, ang nangyayari rin is mas maraming heat ang natatrap sa surface ng planet. Now, the most common of these is carbon dioxide, which is uh, actually the Paris Hilton of greenhouse gases and gets a lot of face time because its concentration in the atmosphere has increased relatively rapidly since the Industrial Revolution. Now, however, um, methane, nitrous oxide, hydrofluorocarbons or HFCs, uh, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which we are uh, familiar with, and perfluorocarbons, such as PFC or PFCs, are also important agents of uh, global warming. So, yeah, yung mga chemical compounds na, 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 ano, na, na consider as the major contributors of uh, greenhouse effect are uh, carbon dioxide and then HFCs, uh, CFCs, PFCs, even methane and nitrous oxide. And so some of them are much more potent actually, yung mga late latter na minention natin, yung uh, methane, nitrous oxide, HFCs, CFCs, PFCs. Uh, pwede actually sila mas, ano, mas uh, mga potent na mga agents of greenhouse uh, effect uh, kumpara sa carbon dioxide. Now, this has some scientists' concern that these B lusters could impact in global temperatures significantly more than carbon dioxide. Uh, there was this paper by uh, Partha Bera at saka yung mga colleagues niya at NASA, AMIS or Ames and the Research Center and Purdue University. They put these gases under the microscope to find out exactly why they are such powerful heat trappers. Now, they focused on CFCs HFCs and PFCs, all chemicals containing the atoms of fluorine or, you know, chlorine, that are used in medicine, fridges, and as solvents, among other things. Now, by probing the molecular structure of these compounds, they found that molecules containing fluorine atoms are especially, you know, stronger greenhouse gases. Okay, the first reason for this is, unlike many other atmospheric molecules, uh, they can absorb radiation that makes it through our atmosphere from space. And the second reason is that they absorb the radiation or they trap the heat very efficiently because of the nature of the fluorine bonds inside them. In technical terms, fluorine atoms create a larger separation of electric charge within the molecule and this helps the molecular bonds absorb electromagnetic radiation more effectively. Now, HFCs, or yung hydrofluorocarbons, and other fluorine-based gases have been called the worst greenhouse gases you've never heard of. And now, we know why. Until now, scientists had not looked into details uh, at the underlying physical or chemical causes that make some molecules better global warmers than others. Bera and colleagues say that their work should help improve our understanding of the physical characteristics of greenhouse gases and specifically what makes an efficient greenhouse gas 
on a molecular level. Now, they hope their findings will be used by the industry to develop more environmentally friendly materials. And this is the knowledge catalog, and I hope that uh, you have learned something uh, by tackling this um, uh, topic, important lesson actually, in environmental chemistry. See you next time.